Daniel, this is my page, King Cheek, Daniel Jemison. Um, you know I'm on Div DeviantArt. I know John O'Bond here is on DeviantArt as well. Yep. And so yep, I'm here. today I'm just gonna go for it. I'm had two or three attempts already. Um, so I'm just gonna go for it now. Um, and this is what I'm going to draw today. Pika, I think John O has some information on him. Um, <laughs> you you're asking the wrong person. He's essentially a knight that happens to be covered in needle bullets from Halo. Oh, there you go. You got needle bullets from Halo. Halo. He's from Halo. No, he's not. He's from um, Clash of Clans. He is from Clash of Clans. Okay, confirming that now. He's from Clash of Clans. So <laughs> I want to draw this character Clash from Clash of Clans. Um, I'm not, you know, a Clash of Clans fan, but. I've I've seen him and he looks a really cool character, so I thought he would be awesome to draw. Um, so obviously I've got my two layers here, as you can see, my background and layer one, and we'll call this layer. Shall we call this drawing, Jono? Ooh, yeah, drawing. That's usually how you organize stuff. Always organize it drawing. Yeah, usually Other drawing, drawing one, drawing two. You know. Yeah, yeah. Typical artist stuff. Yeah, well, it's good to organize your drawing. Um, you know, I'm I'm starting with the basic brush up here. You got different brush presets. I'm just using a basic brush at the moment. Um, usually, what I do is pick a black um, and draw my under drawing. So we'll start off with his head. Um, he's got a pretty bulky head, doesn't he? Eh. Yeah, you might want to shrink that down a little bit. What do you mean? You know when you um make something, you, you can shrink it down while well in Photoshop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good tip, good um tool. But we'll see. It's just it's all just um trial and error, I think. Yeah, if you're wanting to do illustration, it's probably easier to do it in Illustrator than then bring it into Photoshop. Because you can um, just customize everything just so much smoother. I suppose, but then you don't have that painting feeling. It's not, I don't know, it's different in Illustrator and Photoshop, you know? Yeah, I guess. Um, you can't, You everything has to be a line in Illustrator, whereas if you do Photoshop stuff, you... There's a lot more you can do, I think. It's more, yeah, you can. It's kind like, of like drawing on paper. Yeah, I can see that, actually. Hmm. But then again, there's lots of different ups and turns and all sorts of things. Yeah. As you can see, I'll put the eye there. I think that now it's too close to the edge, so I need to move this part away. I'm just thinking about these things as I go along. Yeah. As I say, it's trial and error, you know. Um, I don't know, have you done much painting, Jono? Um, yeah, I have done lots of painting around the time, but I think I prefer digital painting over anything else, to be honest. Okay. It just... It means that I don't have to throw away something if I accidentally muck up. I can always just delete it and erase it. Yeah. It just yeah. It's so, like, it's convenient for that because, um... I think that's too much there. It's convenient because <laughs> you can just chop and change your drawing as you're going. Yes, yes. You know, uh, yeah. as you can see here, I'm, like, thinking... This is a sword, but it's actually not fitting there. It fits somewhere around here. Yeah. And as you can see, you can't really go back. You can erase it, but you'll still have this line in a normal drawing. Especially I if I was drawing something that dark in a traditional drawing. Yeah, that's probably one of the downsides to it, to be fair. But there is so, there is so much. I've been... Uh, traditionally drawing um say six or so years now yeah and it took me a while to turn to digital to the digital age because i i mean 
I it's wasn't. Much of a traditional list, you don't. Yeah, somewhat, but it was just I didn't feel it was natural, and the whole thing is that I was only using a mouse, and now I'm here. I'm using a Wacom tablet. Um, it feels more natural, and I that's what I like about this. So I got a Wacom Cintiq 13 HD. You're still on the line, Jono. I think Jono has gone, but we'll continue. Um, so what I'm doing here is just thinking about form, shape, color. I mean, I haven't got any color yet, but it looks like oh, I need to start erasing. But the thing is, just continue, you know. Um, and his arm goes around here. I'm just slowly drawing his arm in. I may need to shrink him because he might not all, always be able to fit in this um, square that you got here. It's nice to keep it in a square. Um, as I keep on going, there's a lot of things that need to move. Like, I think his arm should fit around here. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and, and small size this down. Holding the shift key while I size it down to keep proportions right. Uh, just so I can fit him in. Uh, you might want to start it off like this, but uh, once you've done that, so apply the changes. Now, the thing is, other arm um, fits around here. Um, I'm on a, you're still there. Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, cool! I thought you went off the line. No, I've just been sitting here trying to figure out why my uh, microphone's not working. But oh, it yeah. seems that it's working again. It's working again. It's Jonah's back on. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the uh, open broadcaster software that's just taking a lot of data. What from you? Yeah, uh, yeah I just. Yeah. Probably. It should have been that big. Yeah. To be honest. It may be because I'm doing stuff. I don't know. Have you ever done something like this before? Um, once or twice, ages ago, but I don't. But I'm yeah, but like doing Photoshop at the same time. Maybe not. That might there be the go. issue, though. There you go. There's new things. Uh, I'm new to this, you know. <laughs> um, that'll be my first YouTube <laughs> video. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll promote ourselves. Might as well. We'll, we'll be um, <laughs> our what do you call it? Try them? and see if it works <laughs> or not. Our links and everything will be down on the um bottom. As you know, um, I don't know if you. I should really make more videos on my YouTube channel. To be honest. Yeah, well, this is a start. Yeah. You know, it's up like it's all about time and things. Well, then again, I've got lots of studies to go going on at the moment, and I don't really have much of a flash phone device, so. I can't really make amazing recordings and stuff. Oh uh, no. But yeah, it's just gone. So yeah, I'm doing is uh what would you call it the bottom piece, Jono? Um they're called skirts. Is it actual samurai skirt or I can actually Google that for you right now. So I read that he was like a warrior samurai guy. I was like, okay, it's interesting. Um, yeah, those, um, it's good. See, I saw what you were saying, like, sizing down, because I sized down this drawing just before. I don't know if you saw that, Jono. Yeah, um, I yeah. did see that. Um, yeah. You can see that Oh. it's not going to look right the first time round. It's always just, you know, experimentation. Yeah, um, yes, yes. I was, uh, um, so this is what you're actually were drawing. It's called 
if I can say it correctly without offending anyone. Yeah. Give it a sec. The like. There's like won't be millions of quote or oh, heaps of cultures that have, that men and women have worn skirt skirts for um for battle and stuff. Yeah, so battle. Apparently, yeah. that's a lot easier to make than um than doing lots of pants all over the place because if you think about it, that's actually a lot. Just wrapping around, uh, just a piece of cloth around your waist is a lot easier than making two sleeves that go up like pants. Yeah. I think the French were the first people to actually make pants. Everyone else just sort of made stuff. Um, you never yeah. actually really saw many people actually wearing actual pants that we see today. So as you can see now, I'm dro dropping the opacity of my drawing layer um, a little bit, probably about 30, it's at 33 percent. It's pretty low, but that's um, dropping that down to make room for changes on the next layer, and I'll call this drawing 2. So I'm usually at this stage, it's my, oh, usually the second attempt's all good, but um, yeah, it's a bit of chop and changing. That's really all What's it that? is, to be honest. What? Uh, Photoshop. It's just all about chop and change and. Really old. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. It's. I feel that I still bring my traditional background into this, which is yeah. great. You need. You need to know a lot about. You do how forms yeah. and things work. Uh, there's one thing I learned the other day, and I was like, I I was in this maze. But it's all about. Um, I can't remember his name. It was a video I was watching. I think it was Will Terry. Ah, oh, right, yeah. He's a great um, YouTuber and artist, illustrator. And it was him. And it's all about. I think he's talking about um, like shapes. How how he constructs his work. Yeah. But it's all about like even looking at the old. Um, the old artists, you can see their struggles and everything. You can, it's you can. All... It actually takes a lot of skill into actually draw something. Yeah, it does, but it, but you can. Um, it's all about like changing your lines. Yes. You never get it right the first time, is what I'm trying to say. Um, <laughs> yes, you never do. <laughs> you never do. It's just. It's a thing, it's about layering in Photoshop in a way. It's yeah. all like you get the first layer or the first layer doesn't look good, change it to what you feel is right, keep going. Yeah. That's what I'm, I'm saying, chop and change. That's what I feel, but I'm not literally chopping this <laughs> up and changing it. It takes a lot. Even once you got the outline... Even the colours can be difficult, but absolutely, we'll get there. I mean, I don't know how long this is gonna take me, but I don't know what you, what you feel. Yeah, it, it can take between hours to just minutes doing little tiny weeny pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Hours, minutes, it's all. thing is head needs to be bigger. He does. Yeah. My uh, I think part, you drew yeah. uh, I think you drew the stomach a little bit out of proportion. The stomach? Oh, yeah. yeah, your stomach's quite bigger, eh? Yeah. See General's got his artist tips too. Um Joe wants to be no. 
Oh, I was watching this thing the other day, Jono, with uh, Phil Terry. Have you heard of Phil Terry? Yeah, I've heard of Phil Terry. Oh, not Phil. Is it Phil Terry? You just you were just talking about Phil Terry. No, that was Will Terry. Um, Phil. Uh, hold up a minute. <laughs> Let's move you. We got Phil Tibbet or Phil. Oh yeah, Phil Tippett. He's the creator of the visual effects for Star Wars and Jurassic Park. Oh, cool. There was a video with him the other day, and it was just... It blew my mind. It was like, wow. It was all about him, you know, starting in the first Star Wars... Um, I think it's New Hope, they uh, said. Oh, okay. Do you want to know something interesting about um, Star Wars... Oh, what was it? Return of the Jedi? Yeah. It was going to be called Revenge of the Jedi, but uh, George Lucas decided that it was probably the wrong name to use because Jedi don't, really don't have any revenge motives. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and it's hmm. just... I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. There's apparently uh, posters around of that still floating around in the unknown. The yeah, unknown. There. Yeah, there's a lot. I went to a talk the other day, and it was um, with Ian McCraig. Oh, yeah. In Wellington, um, so he was talking about a lot of Star Wars stuff, and it was awesome. Um, it's good to go listen to these. Illustrates an artist talk. Yeah, it is. You learn a lot from those sorts of people, to be honest. Yeah, it's like what Bobby Chio says: is it's about finding um, your chess master. Yeah. Because you want to be stronger than your chess master in a way. Yeah, you do. Um, but that doesn't quite mean quite you <laughs> go for a five-year-old and then have the five-year-old as your chess master because well of course you're going to beat them but you need to put your skills up there so you aim for quite a high skill person yeah you want you you want the chest master you don't want just a player like, yeah um yeah someone just makes that and absolutely yeah um so he's got another he's got another spike up here. Um some standard add the spike details. Yeah. Um, I can see, you can kind of see it. Think it his... reminds me a lot of the um half bull half man creature what's that called? Oh, the, I know uh, what you're talking about. It's a Greek god, isn't it? A uh, Greek um a Greek mythological creature. Yes. It is called. Oh, um, I found out how you pronounce the um, the samurai skirt. Oh yeah. It is pronounced. If I'll show you us. Hackhammer. Hackhammer. Okay. Yes. Not hackhammer like a building hammer, but hackhammer. Yeah. Japanese is one of those tricky words from people that don't know Japanese. Yeah. So I'm going to turn this layer off because now I have fixed him up a little bit more. Um, as you can see, he's getting quite fatter. As he's quite a... No, not a fin... A fin to him or a fin clash of hands. Um, minotaur. People. It's a minotaur. Minotaur. Yes. He, this guy's a Minotaur, is he? Oh, he, he reminds me a lot of the Minotaur, the race, oh, okay. to be honest. Like an armoured Minotaur. Because you've got the horns, right? Yeah. And then you've got, usually underneath all the horns and the armour, you would have all the, the um, just basically a skin, and like furry skin, to be honest. Yeah. You wouldn't really have much... Armor on the Minotaur. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think I don't we know. add another uh, layer to add all the purple effects in there too, or yeah. At the moment, it's just getting that drawing right. It's all about. It's like yeah, yeah. It's getting the drawing right first. It's all about that. Always then adding color is not going to do anything. So what's happening to his other arm there? He, uh, this arm here, is all over the place. <laughs> I can see that. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to get this right. I'm just feeling it out at the moment. Um, yeah. At the moment, all you can really do is just give it a feel. And at the moment, I still need to size it down because I've gone too big. I ended up getting things too big. Yeah. But yeah, we sized it down. So Bring up the other layer and see what it looks like together. Now that layer is my background, so... Oh, yeah. It, it basically is the pre-drawing. It's... It, so, yeah. I usually do a couple of layers of just pre-drawings. Um, yeah. Like I said. Yeah, it's good. Do you do any pre-drawings, or...? Yeah, I kind of sometimes do it, but... I I happen to have the knack of when I come up with an idea, I draw I have to draw it out quite quickly and then I sometimes go back to it on a later stage. Yeah, cuz you don't want to lose the idea, eh? Yeah. That's and thing. sometimes even um tracing other ideas that they're off the internet mm. and that can, that make up different parts of your idea that you want to make yeah. is just yeah I learned that there's a uh, tool on Illustrator I'm not sure if Photoshop has it though but you can essentially trace all the lots of it's called line tracer yeah image trace yeah yeah do you That's use a tool. lot I'm not a big fan of the image trace. I mean, I've used it for a couple of my designs here and there. Where I've taken, but I usually use it if I've gone out and taken photos or found right. photos on my own. But I'd then again, that wouldn't really work. It doesn't really work with photos. It works more with um, when you draw something and then you take a photo of it or you do a scan of it. Yeah, yeah, you can use that to quickly create a. Uh, a quick outline from yeah. Illustrator that can be a little bit annoying sometimes because it doesn't get the lines right. No, every, every yeah, time. that you you do have to sort of make sure it's on it's perfect before you give it to it. And sometimes once you do it, you actually have to edit it quite a lot. Like, oh, I'm gonna save this because I don't want to lose this right now and save it. Oh, here we are. What should we call it? We call it, um, what's his name again? Pika. B. Pika. K. K. A. P. E. K. K. A. <laughs> it stands for something. Um, I got it on the other screen. Um, what would it stand for? It stands for. for uh, I don't know. It says p.e.k.k.a. He, it's okay. a knight. It doesn't say what it stands for, actually. I will just Google it. I don't know. People so, nobody knows if it's a samurai, a... What does it say? A samurai... Is it a picker, a, a knight, a samurai, a robot? Nobody knows. Picker armor even absorbs the mightiest blows. But it doesn't handle electricity too well. Hmm. Yeah. So this guy doesn't. Um, but you'd think with the middle, it would absorb. You would. It would like. The electric would just go off. Yeah, but it's then again, like you do have every character in that game has a weakness. Yeah. I don't know. These are kind of weird weaknesses sometimes. Well, then again, Pokemon have weird weaknesses. Oh, no, they're kind of natural, like fire beats. Um, yeah, yeah, but... 
Yeah. But when it comes to the new ones, like Fairy and things like that, I suppose. Now I'm getting his feet and it looks like I'm trying to get off the page. Which <laughs> is annoying. So I oh, I uh, found again. the name. It's uh, it, The name is Perfect Arranged Knight Killer of Assassins. There you go. Perfect of Arranged Knight of Assassins. Killer of Assassins. Killer of Assassins, eh? He's, he's pretty cool. Because it is P E K K A. So. Yeah. Perfect is the P, arranged yeah. is the E, knight is the first K, killer is the second K, of assassins is the last one. If you've got a name like that, he must be pretty cool. You know, yeah. Cool guy to have on your team. Any Clash Clan fans out there, you can watch this and you're probably like, oh, I want to enjoy this. I don't know. <laughs> you might want to learn something off me, I don't know. No. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's starting to take a lot of shape, to be honest. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, it it does. It just takes a couple of hours to get the line right. You know. Yeah. Um. He might need stretching out. Um, he might do actually. So yeah. What I'm gonna do is duplicate this layer. Mm. Yeah. And then stretch them out just a wee bit using this tool here. Don't forget he's red. He's got glowing eyes. Yeah, he does. Um, I can see he's got um purple circle eyes. Um. Yeah, but this is my uh, it's my second underlay drawing, um, because this is a hard one. I've never done one like this. I think he went offline, um, but we'll continue. Uh, we're up to about 28 minutes, so this is going to be a, quite a bit of a video. I might have to um, part to it or something. What do you think, Jono? Yeah, probably eventually. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see how time goes. I don't know, I can, like, I've seen videos on YouTube that are with, what's his name? Can't remember his name. I his name yeah. on YouTube, though. YouTube. I'm subscribed to all these people, it's so awesome. There's a lot online, I'll promote them all, if I could. Um, you, uh, might want to... Stanley. At gym, he goes for like three hours straight sometimes. You um, might want to what? Click the plus on your Skype call, you uh, randomly flick off. Oh, sorry bit. guys, you live people at the moment, you cannot see what I'm doing. <coughs> um, I haven't done too much, don't you worry. Um, um. So, plus, share screens, go accept, start. There you yeah, go. There you go. That's you a can, long You can see a bit more. Um, at the moment, he just looks like a skeleton, and that is totally out of proportion at the moment because <laughs> I I basically just turned the opacity down on this again and right. gone for drawing number three of him. As you can see, if you're doing this traditionally. You would have have to have at least three pieces of paper at the moment. Um, would have, yeah. You know, of just doodling him. Other artists probably. I'm more of an artist at the moment that um, still is learning, but I'm pretty good at at once I get it down. Um, but I suppose this is because it's more. It's more of a cartoony feeling, I suppose. You, yeah, it kind of is. I'm more, I would draw a lot of animals. Um, see if we can get his mask right. His mask could fit right about there. Um, mm. I'm using quite a thick um, brush as well. As you can see I've got 39. 
If we yeah. turn it down now as I start to um, tighten it up, you start. Pre you want to start pretty loose. Pretty loose. And you tighten it up as you go. As you can see, I think that horn is now too small. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to think of that too. How's that? That, should, that looks a lot better, to be honest. Hmm. I mean, put this always on top. Oh, can you do that? Oh, I don't know. Oh, that should... Oh, yeah, that's alright. I can see myself now. <laughs> it looks a bit different in the um, broadcast here. Yeah. But, as you can see, though, because um, armor piece here that I'm looking at, I think that goes out a bit more around there. Because he's got got quite a bit form around here in a way and as you can see it's kind of like becoming a pose drawing just yeah it is finding the pose here um because i can't he isn't being too small his hand i think yeah it's starting to look like it yeah how many people on the on the onlines I don't know if the people. I have had uh, 38 views, to be honest. 38 views so far, it's going pretty good. You know, and, uh, yeah. I don't know if people comment on this. They usually live. do, but. You know. Yeah. Anyone want to comment live? Go for it, you know. Ask some questions, go for it. I'm just. Got any questions, Jono, about what I'm doing? <laughs> or in general? Um, not really, to be honest. Hmm. Yeah. It's just take it as it really comes. To be fair. Yeah. Enjoying the trip. Join the um, watching me do this. <laughs> yeah, I don't actually have Photoshop for this uh, machine that I'm using at the moment. So yeah. There are other programs. Another good program is Sketch Pro. That is true. That is Sketchbook. Actually true. Sketchbook is really cool. Um, it's got a lot of cool features. Some that not even Photoshop have. Um, yeah. like a a really cool ruler system. So now I think his sword is getting bigger. Now it's just I don't know what would you call that a chest piece? Yeah. This part that. here. Yeah. I if you see any of my works, this is kind of my uh, kind of my work process. This is quite different because it's um more uh, fantasy style um but this is you yeah usually my process is the style uh, well I mean yeah this is usually my process sorry <laughs> um but you, sometimes I can just go straight for it. I don't need all these um, as many backings of it. Yeah. Um, usually one or two. Um. Uh, yeah. I'm picking up these things as I go. Um, That's um, usually how it works. To be fair. As an artist, I know that. You know, um, you never stop learning. Um, I just, yeah, it's amazing. You just keep learning. Because I learn new skills every day. I'm surprised I'm still learning them. <laughs> um, picking things up from other artists, watching them. Um, yeah, and your pals, like Jono here, he can um, <laughs> critique me can see if yeah, I've got, go, yeah. like before showing that his feet was too small or, you know, things like that. 
um, as you go. And don't you don't want to take too much pride either. Um, in a way, as bad as it sounds, but not as such. Oh, look, I drew this. Look at me, I drew this. Um, and people criticize it um, because you look at it. It's not going to be perfect. No, never kind of is, to be honest. Ever. But it will be perfect in its own way if you can um, listen sometimes. Mm. Another thing I learnt is that... If I can remember now, I'm still blanking now. <laughs> still blanking. I'm yeah. blanking, I'm just, I'm just in the zone, I can't think right now. That, that's also one of the good reasons why you talk to someone is so that you don't actually get in the zone that much. Well, you want to be in the zone while drawing. That's um, true. But I was talking about, like, taking pride in your work and things like that. Um, yeah. Yeah, it just takes time. A lot of hours work. Mm. Well, honestly, I can spend hours, like, yeah. I'm surprised. I just did a, a job for um, a book publishing company. Oh, yeah. Cool. I think I told you about it, Jono, but I'll talk about this. Um... I'm surprised how long, how much that took me. It didn't actually, in the end, um, I was expecting it to take like a hundred or, hundred or something hours. Oh yeah, um, how long did it take you? In a few weeks. Oh wow. And it actually, actually took me, in the end, it only took me around about 56 hours. And oh, that's yeah. not even just for the illustration, that was for reading the book. I was surprised I did it in that time. Um, I was expecting it to be m much longer hours than that. Um, but I was also always thought that it would take me longer. But and then a dinner notch was good. Dinner notch. Less hours weren't, but I still made it look amazing. I think. <laughs> Um, and it's good to get feedback. Um, yeah, that's what I was saying. Is that you got to get feedback. So the thing I was saying is what Ian McCraig was saying. I think it was Ian McCraig or one of the people that I was listening to. It's not what they say is wrong with it. Like, if that, um, it's not always what's wrong with it. Like, if you go to a... Um, a client, you're talking to a client and they say, Oh, look just put some splashes of green it's not always going to be green that, that you're going to put scratches on or it's not going to be like I'm doing client work at the moment keep under yeah. wraps but um, you know like if you get a suggestion um, it's not always that suggestion that is the greatest decision to do um, but there is something wrong with it there's something that needs to be changed, you know? Yeah. Um, like if you say, oh, his head's wrong. Uh, yeah, his head's wrong, but it may, like, someone could say the size of that head is wrong, but maybe it's not the size. Maybe it's, you know, the position of where his head. I mean, this is becoming, <laughs> it's looking like a mess at the moment, isn't it, Jono? Kind of is a little bit to be fair, but the thing is, you just do the long hours and you get there. Um, you live people enjoying this, you probably <laughs> were like, "Why well, you can't draw?" But I'll get there. Um, I'm just putting little details. It's just to indicate me where things are lying at the moment. Um, so they can look back and forth with my drawing. Um, sometimes a good technique. Um, it kind of feels like tracing in a way. Um, 
So yeah, I have my drawing here. Um, I'll go open it. Do you place it in, don't you? You place yeah, you do. your drawing. So I think the drawing is in here. Uh, let me see if I go extra. There it is. If I place it sometimes. Oh, I can't place a PNG. Well, that's great. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's how life goes, to be fair. All I do is put this on top and just have it right next to it. And that way you can see the proportions. Sometimes I use rulers and things. Um, I suppose you shouldn't do that tracing one because I'm trying to learn more. Um, yeah. But sometimes I just, <laughs> you know, you just want to trace it so badly um, to get it right. Um, but yeah, if you ever right next to it, you can see some of the changes that need to happen. Um, To me, I think I'll need to size this so I can see both. Yeah. Um, there fits in, so that would actually go. I might change my color to like a blue for now, so I can see what I'm doing. And I might actually have a new layer, as you do. Yeah. And layer this. This. It seems a bit bulky here. Yeah, it does a little bit. That might. That seems like the problem. So the thing is that you got to size this down. Uh, this might not be the perfect how to draw tutorial if you're watching this as a tutorial. Um, what do you think, John? Are you learning anything from like watching me? Yeah, I am actually. Mm. It, 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 you're sort of getting there, to be fair. Kind of duplicating what they have there. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, this is not a like how to draw this step by step. Um, I'd not very familiar with this character at all um, which is good because it's the challenge for me I like my challenges um, and it's good give yourself a challenge it's not oh do the how to draw and get there it's draw the challenges I need a color solid color that I can see properly probably dark tone there we go that's better um, yeah, rounds would be, are usually the better option to see around stuff. So think, and then that would... That's actually quite long, that sword bit. It is. Hmm. Have you got it long enough? That's what I think, I don't... I'm missing this part here. The yeah. small holding part, but I think I can fit that. I think it should fit in there, and then that's his, you know, thumb, there's his hand. Usually I do little tiny details because I know that sometimes I might chop and change things. So I don't want to get too much detail before things like this happen. Oh, is you're just wasting time on details that you'll have to do again. Yeah, you would be. Yeah. Watch, I've learned the hard way. You, learn, you have to <laughs> learn the hard way. In That's a way. Okay. Yeah. Um, but, you know, there's so many uh, people out there that uh, you can learn from now that... Oh my god, you know, it's not so hard these days. Absolutely. Hmm. That goes for anything, like chefing, I suppose you can learn how to cook by watching these shows online. I'm using this pink as another colour, 
it's starting to come like heaps of colours and things. Yeah, yeah not quite. That I'm starting to quite not see, but <laughs> <laughs> it's like okay. Um, yeah. The painting. It's definitely getting there. To be fair. Thanks. Go take. I don't know how long this will take me. Just put another spike there as a placeholder. <laughs> I'll keep adding until it's right. It's one of those difficult drawings, I think. Absolutely, it does sort of seem like it. I think his mask is now not long enough. Like. Yeah, it's... Now we've got things on different layers now, so... This is when things get fun. Because <laughs> <laughs> it, you know, you got to fix things up here. I think yeah, on this layer though, when it loads, it's still uh, buffering at the moment, um, as you can see. Save it while it buffers, it's the best way. <laughs> oh my god, I've done this for what, 47 minutes. It's coming along though, it's like, I don't know, it's... It's better than it was, I mean... That's true, it was. Look at this, that was like the first attempt. <laughs> so, it's come some way, come some way <laughs> differently. What's the YouTube like limit on like hours? <laughs> um, some people have ten hours videos to be honest. Uh, I don't know. You don't want to speed this up though, eh? You yeah. know. This might just be a drawing. It might not be painting. I might have to continue this as like a part two or something. You know. Yeah, yeah, um, but we'll keep on going, we'll go for like, should we go for about an hour, hour ten? Yeah, that's, that might be alright, that, that's, but, that's about 20 minutes. Yeah, about 20 minutes. Yeah. And, yeah, I can have a part two of this. Um, yeah, eventually, that's usually how it works, to be fair. Because this is long hours doing this one. I um, didn't notice that it, it was uh, 250 already. Yeah, 250, eh? Yeah. Day's getting along, along quite quickly. Whoop. The, the, the day is getting cut um, yeah. quite quickly. Oh, what am I doing here? Oh, no, I don't want to exit it. <laughs> I don't, I'm trying to see the picture on my screen, I'm like, uh, where'd it go? Oh, there we go, out of. There, we can see it on this screen, we want to see it on that screen. Cool, thank you very much. Now, so the armor piece is getting there. Um... Sometimes you want to build things with shapes, which is great, um, blocking things in, um, so that shape go there. They have tiny little legs, like they go, they like get fat and then go really small. Yeah, that is actually, um, quite beer, I think. If I trace this, I'm not sure you people would want to watch me trace things. It's, it's <laughs> yeah, like, absolutely. you know, yeah. Watch what? someone trace for about an hour and a half, you know? <laughs> it's yeah. great. I might not like that, to be fair. Oh no, this is struggling because, like, it's not fitting in the screen. Mm, 
but what I'm going to do is actually size this up because I just want a little bit of plate of it so this is probably this is a3 standard size and I've just upsized it uh, I don't know what I did in there you want to crop it up I don't know why there's a green screen there's a green screen behind we've never done this before but there's a green screen behind in the background <laughs> it's great I might like, that's distracting me I might make a new background layer <laughs> Yeah. Nice. Oh, what happened? Oh, there we go. New background layer. I usually just use a paint bucket. Um, the old paint bucket tool on the background. Layer one. So this is probably upsized to about an eight three. Yeah. Um, I am going to call that a wrap for um, part one of this video. Um, thank you for joining us. We will put a description down on the description. Um, thank you very much. All our details in the description. This is it here. Thank you very much. Bye. The general one said bye. Bye. <laughs>